Hey, Astro Nerds, Diana here, and look what I have. E -e -e, it's mini me arrived. Well, the weather and the scene conditions have not been the best for the last couple of weeks since I got the telescope, of course, but I have been testing it even in very difficult situations, getting really good results. Extremely windy, it's very cold, <laughs> and this is going to be a very good test right now for the uh, Mini. Let me just go ahead and turn it on. The first try, it's going to be using the equatorial mode. I will be very happy if it works good with this wind. And I can see Polaris from here. Let me just kind of like uh, situate a little better. Uh, let me just go ahead and connect. Okay, there's the Dwarf Mini. Let's, let's connect. And I am just going to use whatever I have on battery tonight. It, it's fully charged. It's supposed to be about four hours. Now the next step, it's going to be here just to go live. And I need to go here into Deep Sky. Okay, so the equatorial mode is on those three dots there. Uh, to ensure optimal, please focus your dwarf device first. So let me just go ahead and point here, uh, go to focus in here. I don't want to have auto parameters. Let me just go ahead and see what we're seeing here. That is a tree. So let me just go a little bit up here. I have it at 13 seconds. It doesn't matter. I just need to see. So let's just go into out of focus first. Okay, so out of focus actually is very good. So uh, that part is done. Okay, so now um, I need to go back to the EQ mode and we'll see what is going to happen. Because I already did the focusing, let me just go ahead and continue here EQ mode. And it's going to tell me uh, everything is ready. Okay, it's telling me my latitude. That part is fine. So now I needed to change something here. Okay, let me check here. Yes, let me just go back to EQ mode because I did something wrong. I need to uh, point first to Polaris. Let me just uh, think that this is what I am doing is correct. I need to see Polaris. So let me just go ahead and work here a little bit on this. I do have a lot of lights here tonight. Uh, <laughs> the Christmas lights and everything. Now let me just go back to Deep Sky. And I want to go to the EQ mode again. Continue to EQ mode. Okay, I am ready. Let's see what happens. It's moving. It's making very little adjustments, but it is moving. It's very silent, very quiet. Make sure the stars are clear and well focused with no clouds or obstructions. So right now, um, let me just uh, go ahead and move it again. just have it with the stars up the problem is there is a tree right there but I do this all the time even with that tree okay so we're getting somewhere now the angle is not accurate so I need to uh, lower 18 and 3 so that's that's not bad at all okay so we're, we're in the right direction let me just go ahead here and 18 should be like a lot. And then three. That way, let's see what happens there. Okay. It's 
since I started the process, well, six, six minutes and 50 seconds. And look at that, lucky me. Oh my God, that is amazing. I got perfect alignment. <laughs> Excellent, not perfect. Okay. So now, uh, Mini Me, it's uh, right here with all the Christmas lights and we're going to show how good this telescope is even with all those Christmas lights there on the, on the back. The imaging session continued, very successful. Calibration was uh, very easy and a great process. I decided to go just for Andromeda Messier 31 and do a mosaic four panel imaging session, which I show live in my last uh, stream in YouTube. And it was uh, really good. I was very impressed with the results. Just join me in a few days for the next video showing the entire imaging session and also the uh, final results. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a few days.